This is going to be about the name game. One of the very most important skills your dog should have is recognition of their name and a reliable response every time they hear it, even when something else is very, very interesting to them. In order to condition the name as a cue, what we want to do is use a process we call the name game. In the name game, what we're going to do is have our dog turn away from us, then look back at us, and we're going to mark it with good or yes, and immediately deliver the next treat. And in order to do this, we need to uh, put the treats on the floor. So you should have food in both hands, and your food should also uh, be visible on the surface that you're going to use. So if you use a light surface, use a dark treat. If you use a dark surface, use a light treat. So this is the way the name game works. Solo will be happy to tell us about this one. Ready? So I'm going to start by putting a treat on the floor. Say your name, Solo. Good. Mark it. Solo. Good. That's a marker. Solo. Good. Mark it. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Okay. All done for that time. Now, if you have a very small dog, it's much easier to do this while sitting in a chair. So this is just fun. You can do anything sitting in a chair and play the name game. Here we go. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. Solo. Good. And all done. And it's a very good girl. Thank you so much. That was such a good session. So that is the name game. You should use at least 10 treats per session and maybe do two to three sessions every day. So before long, even from a distance and with distractions, when your dog hears their name, they look back at you. And that, that means you're able to give them more information. You might ask them to come or lie down or sit in place. You could be doing anything. But the first thing they need to recognize clearly and respond to is their name. So thank you and please play.